restoration and forgiveness, finding your way back to God. Welcome back, dear viewers, to another episode of our journey towards spiritual renewal. Today, we delve into a topic that resonates deeply within the core of our being, restoration and forgiveness. In the journey of life, we all face moments where we stray from our path, but it's in these moments that the grace of restoration and forgiveness shines brightest. For God says, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. The Bible speaks extensively about restoration and forgiveness, offering us timeless wisdom and guidance. One of the most profound passages on this topic comes from the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 25. I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the hopper, the destroyer, and the cutter, my great army which I sent among you. Always understand struggling with addiction can feel like being trapped in a relentless cycle of darkness and despair. Just know that God sees you and loves you. Also understand you can recover. Recovering from addiction brings forth the dawn of hope as each day becomes a testament to newfound strength and resilience. But the Bible says, but God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Please share this video with friends and family and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Just as the Lord promises restoration in the face of devastation, we too can find renewal and healing in our darkest moments by putting our trust and faith in God, knowing without a doubt that He is with you always. Take for example anyone who has or is battling with addiction of any type for years will soon feel weighted to the point they either let go of the addiction or perish in the addiction. In other words, they will either let go of the sin or die in sin. Repent and allow God to lift you up. If you have the support of loved ones or not, hold on to your unwavering faith and trust in God. You will find the strength you need to embark on a journey of recovery. Each day you can stand as a testament, acknowledging the power, God restorative power and forgiveness God loves you and wants you to love life and enjoy your life without continuous sin. God is all power, all strength, all love, all mercy, all grace, and all forgiveness. For God's word says, His divine power has granted to us all things that pertain to life and godliness. Through the knowledge of Him who called us to His own glory and excellence, by which He has granted to us His precious and very great promises, so that through them, you may become partakers of the divine nature, having escaped from the corruption that is in the world because of sinful desire. Nonetheless, restoration isn't just about our own personal journey. It's about extending that grace, love, mercy, and forgiveness to others as well. In the Gospel of Matthew chapter 6, verses 14-15, Jesus teaches us, For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Be quick to forgive, no matter the situation or circumstance. Love without consequence, for no one can ever love the way God loves. God's words remind us of the importance of forgiveness in our relationships to other, whether it be at home, on the job, or in the community. Just as we seek forgiveness from God, we must also extend that same forgiveness to those who have wronged us. It's through this act of grace that we not only find healing for ourselves, but also foster reconciliation and restoration in our relationships. For the God's Word says, All Scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. So, how can we apply these timeless teachings to our own lives and the lives of those we love? It starts with a willingness to let go of resentment and bitterness and to embrace the transformative power of forgiveness. Whether it's seeking forgiveness for our own mistakes or extending forgiveness to others, let us remember that true restoration comes from a heart that is open to the grace of God. If you are enjoying this video, hit that like and subscribe button. Mark 11.25 states, And whenever you stand praying, forgive, if you have anything against anyone, so that your Father also who is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. As we journey onward, 
may we always remember that no matter how far we may stray, there is always a path back to God's love and forgiveness. Have faith, believe, repent, and forgive. Until next time, may you find peace in the promise of restoration and forgiveness. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and bell notification. May you go in peace, love, and mercy.